Samsung Galaxy Book Flex – Best for Most People the Samsung Galaxy Book Flex is the company's latest attempt to stand out in a field that it's had less than stellar success with – Windows PCs. But this two-in-one laptop offers a mix of strong performance with some unique features to mostly successful results. Samsung is doing wonders with colors, the Fiesta Red Galaxy Chromebook is a highlight, and the Royal Blue Galaxy Book Flex is no exception. Just like that Chromebook, the aluminium Galaxy Book Flex chassis catches the light bouncing off of it, so you get a gradient of hues. With the Galaxy Book Flex, Samsung brings its QLED display technology to portable PCs for the first time. Both screen sizes have a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, similar to OLED screens which stormed the premium laptop market last year. QLED displays use familiar LCD panels and LED backlight arrays. The difference, Q, is short for quantum dots, Samsung's marketing term for nanoparticles that emit or alter light at different frequencies when exposed to electricity. This light tweaking can produce more precise color in a wider range than the LCDs illuminated by white LEDs can. The Intel Core i7 CPU and 8GB of RAM, the Galaxy Book Flex allows for speedy multitasking. I saw no stutter when I split my screen between 12 Chrome tabs, including Google Docs and Giphy alongside a 1080p YouTube video. Overall, the Galaxy Book Flex is one of the best laptops for creatives who want a big canvas for their next project. Number 4. Lenovo Flex 5 – Best for the Money Thanks to a brand new AMD Ryzen processor, Lenovo's IdeaPad Flex 5 14 offers an extraordinary blend of performance and value for money, making it one of the best popularly priced 2-in-1 convertibles we've tested. Lenovo's Flex series of laptops are affordable 2-in-1 convertible systems that offer claimed all-day battery life. That's a simple and appealing proposition. In practice, it's all a bit more complicated. You see, the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5, to give it its full name, is available in both 14-inch and 15-inch variants and with both AMD and Intel CPUs, and with various iterations of those CPUs. Arguably, AMD's laptop CPUs offer both better value and more performance right now, but given the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 remains pretty keenly priced and isn't being pitched primarily on performance, that needn't be an automatic deal-breaker. As a flex model, that screen is hooked up to the IdeaPad chassis via a full 360-degree hinge and thus supports operation in full tablet mode. The 256GB SSD is more than enough along with the AMD Radeon graphics, which means you can also work on your Photoshop skills. The Lenovo Flex 5 is a beast when it comes to raw performance, be it Chrome tabs, Photoshop edits or using multiple applications simultaneously. This machine is made to handle it all. Number 3. Lenovo Chromebook Duet – Best Chromebook At first glance, it's easy to mistake the ultra-portable Lenovo Chromebook Duet for a journal. It's wrapped in soft fabric, but you'll find a sharp full HD screen inside when you open the type cover. The Lenovo Chromebook Duet screen is just 10.1 inches across, but it's a perfect pick for on the go. Also, the trackpad is quite good. Lenovo was able to cram a reasonably sized trackpad onto the keyboard and I found it to be a lifesaver. Lenovo has certainly cut some corners to shave the Chromebook Duet down to that price point, and since I'm employed as a professional griper, gripe I shall. But at the end of the day, they feel like cut corners, not like major missteps that significantly hamper the device. And after several days using the Duet as my primary driver, I feel comfortable saying it feels much more like a Surface Go with some concessions than it does an ultra-budget PC. You might be disappointed if you're looking for a 2-in-1 with plenty of ports, but the Chromebook Duet packs the internals to make up for it. Lenovo has managed to fit an Octa-Core MediaTek Helios P60T processor and ARM G72 MP3 graphics into the slim device. The standard configuration is also equipped with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. It's not a bad cross between a tablet and a laptop for a Chromebook under $400. Number 2. HP Elite Dragonfly Best Business Laptop HP's Elite Dragonfly redefined what it means to be a business laptop. This stunning laptop has a breathtakingly gorgeous chassis that flaunts a unique dark blue finish. The design is as practical as it is attractive. The Elite Dragonfly has flexible hinges that convert the laptop into a tablet, and at £2.2, it's one of the most portable 13-inch laptops around. What's amazing about this laptop's lightweight design, though, is that the machine doesn't feel flimsy for it. I've tested other magnesium shell machines in the past, but unlike them, the Dragonfly doesn't buckle or bend when you grip or apply pressure, thanks to internal reinforcements. 
There's no flex in the keyboard and almost none in the display. The chassis also feels very nice to the touch, the magnesium is smooth, and the rounded edges and corners mean you never get poked. Fingerprints are often a worry on dark products, but the wrist rests and keyboard remained print-free after several days of use. The touchpad and lid accumulated some, but I could only see them under bright light. You'll somehow need to take your eyes off of the Elite Dragonfly's aluminium body to appreciate its bright and vivid 13.3-inch display, but the Elite Dragonfly's greatness doesn't stop there. The laptop also has a surprisingly comfortable keyboard, fast performance, and a host of security features, including an IR camera, a fingerprint sensor, and mil-spec 810 rated durability. For these reasons, the Elite Dragonfly is the best HP laptop for business users. Number 1. HP Spectre X360 2021 Best Overall the HP Spectre X360 of 2021 presents a brilliant update on an already excellent laptop, bringing the latest Intel hardware to a stunningly designed 2-in-1 device. It can get a bit loud and it's expensive, but it looks beautiful and offers brilliant battery life as well. Most impressively of all, though, is the battery life. The HP Spectre X360 of 2021 manages almost 13 hours in our tests. With a premium price, you expect a premium design. And HP certainly delivers with the HP Spectre X360. To be honest, we never had any doubt that it would. The previous model was one of the nicest looking laptops we've had the pleasure of reviewing. The review unit we were sent features an Intel 4 core i7 10510U processor. For day to day use, then, the HP Spectre X360 of 2021 delivers the sort of performance you'd expect of a premium laptop at this price point. You certainly won't be disappointed. The keyboard is large and enjoyable to use, with the keys offering decent travel. There are also backlit so you can comfortably use them in the dark. The touchpad is nice and responsive. It's wider than you'd expect on a 13-inch laptop, providing a bit more room to move your fingers. There's also a fingerprint scanner to the right of the touchpad for logging into Windows 10. HP Stylish Spectre X360 13 is one of the best 13.3-inch convertible laptops. But once you see the 3 to 2 aspect ratio display of its X360 14 stablemate, it's hard to go back. Buying Guide – Size and Resolution Screen size is more a matter of personal taste, while resolution and graphics power are productivity issues. Most 2-in-1 hybrids like to reside in the 10 to 12-inch screen size neighborhood, although quite a few have ventured beyond. Resolution varies from low-end HD 1366x768, and almost none has a dedicated graphics card. What you'll probably find that suits you is something that rests squarely in the middle of the road. Hinge Mechanism So, docking keyboard or no docking keyboard? Two-in-ones have the luxury of being either-or. Separate docking keyboards are great, but for real portability, you probably want a two-in-one with a 360-degree hinge. But not all hinge mechanisms are the same. Some involve a watch band-like material that flexes, others involve complex gears and pulleys and tiny leprechauns. But what you want to look for is ease of use, a hinge that lets the keyboard fold behind the display with the keys exposed. If possible, you should experience the hinge mechanism in person. Price With prices ranging from as little as $150 to well over $2,500, there's bound to be a 2-in-1 to fit your budget. Prices tend to go up as you increase in size and specs, with many low-cost hybrids often suffering noticeably from lower battery life as well. If you're willing to spend, you can even find some 2-in-1s with discrete GPUs, which means you rarely have to sacrifice on specs if you